Bonjour people, como están? And today I'm gonna show you guys how to take these old wooden box houses that everyone seems to build because they're so easy to build and turn it into a lot nicer house. So starting off right off the bat, we're putting in a false bottom or a foundation for the house because you know, you see this everywhere and you gotta have one. It's like, if you're gonna make a house better, it's gotta have that first. That's, you always start bottom up. So we're starting with the foundation. And then from there we're going to move on to the walls and the roof. So first off, you don't want an incredibly tall roof, especially if you're not going to be able to fill that space. It's a lot easier to short the, shorten the roof down. My roof is really high because I'm in journey mode, so I have the extended grip, but you want it just one above your normal grip. Normally works and looks really nice for a small little house. And then with that, you want to add some different blocks into your house so I use some stone brick for the flooring while I have the wood for the top of the house and then I threw in some background walls some stone bricks to outline the outer parts of the house and then some planked wall to fill in and then I made a fun little design with just some normal wall on the inside of that and now I forgot to use a ruler. If you want to be very precise, I would suggest you use a ruler because it would prevent things like this where I have to go back through and cut everything down before being able to finish it up. And then as you'll see here in a little bit, I've used this pattern specifically just because it works really well with windows. And you'll see that in a second once those go up. So then I use some, I think they're called the wooden beams. I don't remember what they're called entirely, but I use those just to make it look like the house had a bit of support and something in the middle because I was going for more of a rustic style house because the rustic style house is me. So then I threw in the windows, which are just the bamboo fence, which I, those are my favorite windows in the first place. And then from there, we already have a major improvement to the house. So we didn't have to do that much. All of this is already really readily available to everyone. You've got bamboo from the forest and everything else is just sawmill and crafting table from just normal items like wood and stone. And then from there we're going to move on to the roof. So this part is a bit more comp is a bit more needy in materials. Starting off we got the red dynasty shingles that are sold from the traveling merchant. So those are a bit harder to get. And then Later on to fill in these side parts because I'm trying to make it um, more 3d Give it a more 3d view. I'm using the copper brick Which gives it a very nice look to the house once it's painted red and you'll see that in a second here And with this you don't need to use the copper brick I'll show this also just later in the video where you can use just copper wall and then paint that red I just like the look of copper brick when it's actuated because I have a lot more control over it than if I were to use the copper wall and it's a lot smaller. So then with that I went ahead and actuated all the bricks with an actuator rod and then I messed around with having these other upper sections of the roof actuated which I decided against and then I went ahead and added in some background walls to fill in the gaps between the brick and the dynasty shingles. So then with that I went inside the house if I want to go inside the house yeah <laughs> either way I'm gonna go inside the house and I'm gonna start working on the roof. This was recorded with audio originally as a video, but then the audio didn't work <laughs> because OBS. So uh, here I am recording over the top of this like normal because technology hates me. So with that, I went ahead and started roofing, putting background wall into the roof itself, which will change here in just a second where I decided to cut down this divider. I just thought it wasn't going to work. There was no way to try and build stairs that would go up there really nicely. So instead I use the same divider but with actuators just to throw it into a background piece. You can use wood beam. I just don't like the look of wood beam. So of course the wood beam would be a choice for if you were in um, pre-Skeletron or you could use some wood wall, just anything to get that accent across to fill in that space. And then from there, it's later on moving on to getting the paint done. And then here is the point, if I remember correctly, where I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what the copper brick wall looks like. It looks pretty similar. It's just I don't like working with walls so much when the wall is has a solid edge on the outside because it's not so even. So then with that, I went ahead and painted all the bamboo fence brown because even though I like the green contrast, I just wanted everything to be more of a wood color so I went ahead and used that and then painted all the 
copper brick a nice normal red so that matched him with the shingles. Then I went ahead and experimented with some wood. I ended up on, I believe that shade wood and just painted it brown just because it gave me a better wood texture with a better wood with a lot more texture than just normal wood. And then with that, it's just about time to just put in a bunch of decorations. So I left all the painting stuff on me because you know I'm going to be painting the furniture. And I went ahead and went to go create a bunch of furniture with a bunch of different woods because I didn't have a lot of readily available furniture at the time yet. Then I just started messing around with different things to throw in there. I chose the Boreal table just because I like the design on it. And then I used Shadeware, Shadewood tree. Whoa, those are not trees. Shadewood chairs. Painted brown because they just look a lot more full compared to the other um, chairs. Yeah. And then I extend out the roof just to throw on some lanterns because this is starting to take more of a Chinese style, Japanese style house look. And then. I believe I used Boreal lamps, I don't remember if that's Boreal or not, but Boreal, but those lamps that you see on top there for my lighting, they're just painted brown on the bottom half for a lighter flame and then red towards the top just so they have a little blend towards the final brick. And then I tried to work on Chippy's couch, unfortunately I couldn't, just, I can't, I'm not good at trying to work on couches, they're so low, I it just doesn't work very well with the rest of the furniture. So I went ahead and just scratched that. I threw in some steps on the side and I went for a dresser instead. Now I went through a few dressers. It was just a matter of finding which one with brown paint looked the best. Then I just grabbed a piggy bank to throw on top and went ahead to work on some higher up decoration. I initially tried to do the, I believe it's the shade wood bathtub because when painted brown, it gives you a really nice barrel look, but it didn't fit. It needed a one more platform I believe so instead I decided to grab again some shade wood um what are they called platforms and throw some books on there just to make it look real nice and I think that was about it I tried to throw in a painting but that really also didn't go well so yeah that's the final house um this again this is something that you can build pretty easily even without using the actuators or some of these materials if you don't have access to them right away in your world and it's just a really nice and quick way to add some more decoration to your world, make your houses not boxes because box houses are ugly. So yeah, and one more note with this, this house is did not take that long to build without compressing down the file for a time lapse. I think it was only a 30 minute build in total and even then if you're not that great at building, you can still go ahead and build this. Maybe it shouldn't take you longer than maybe 45 minutes to an hour if you've got the materials already. If you don't have the materials, yes, it's going to take you a second just because you're going to need to go ahead and go find the copper, go find the dynasty wood to get the dynasty lamps and the little lights. And then you'll have to go get the traveling merchant to get dynasty and the shingles because yes and that's always uh, just the roll of the dice but most of it should be pretty easy to get and pretty easy to find so with that i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did you should like subscribe all of that fun stuff because i'm really enjoying making all these building videos and it's looking like a lot of more people are watching them than anything else on the channel so i'm just going to keep working with these so yeah, if you guys got any questions or want any specific builds in the future, just go ahead and leave them down in the comments below and I'll make sure to get to those. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next time.